Here's a move in the NBA that no one is talking about, but this could mean a lot in the future for the Los Angeles Clippers. Jerry West has moved from Golden State to LA, and this is big because Jerry West is one of the best players of all time. But not only that, Jerry West brings people and makes them want to play for his team. And the Clippers, well, they're still in Los Angeles. People want to go to Los Angeles and people want to play in LA. And although I get it, they're not the Lakers and they haven't had success in the NBA. Jerry West is one of the best guys to make LA the Clippers one of the new front runners to sign big name players. And you know what's crazy? Jerry West must know how good he is because this is what he said. I will really miss the Warriors organization. I really will. But honestly, there was nothing left for me to do. When I left there Monday night after they won the championship, it was probably the worst feeling I ever had in my life as a basketball person. I knew I wasn't going to be a part of that anymore. Now, if you literally say, there was nothing left for me to do, you must be pretty darn good at your job. Let's be honest here. So, Jerry West, he spent five years with Memphis. Helped them become a playoff caliber team. Then he went to the Warriors, saw them win two of the last three NBA championships, and reached the NBA Finals three years in a row. So, as you can probably tell, Jerry West is seriously elite at what he does. And in a time, if you're the Los Angeles Clippers, where you're about to possibly lose Blake Griffin, Chris Paul, JJ Redick, you're looking to trade DeAndre Jordan, it's not the best time if you're a Clippers fan, or you're just part of the Los Angeles Clippers in general, right? You're not looking great. But if anybody can turn the Clippers around, it's Jerry West. And obviously, Jerry West, we know how great he was as a player. Jerry West, I mean, yeah, he didn't win as many championships as he would have liked, and that's he actually talked about that to Kevin Durant as a way to bring KD down to Golden State. But Jerry West, it's not the first time he's brought a superstar player like Kevin Durant. Okay, let's go back to 1976. Jerry West returned to the Lakers. He was a head coach there, but then after working there, he became a scout at 1979. And then, obviously, where it really matters for this video, Jerry West was a general manager at the start of the Lakers team in the 1982 season. And although that Jerry West had players like Magic Johnson and Kareem Abdul-Jabbar, Jerry West made trades to go insane. He was a part of bringing James Worthy into the team and making a massive big three in LA. Then he went in 1996 as an executive for the Lakers once again. He managed to sign Shaquille O'Neal, possibly the biggest star in the NBA at that time, to the Lakers. Shaquille O'Neal from Orlando to Lakers. Now, you got to be a great GM to sign someone like that. Jerry West showed his executive touch there. Easy. Then, not much later, he managed to draft Kobe Bryant. And, like, obviously they didn't draft him. The Lakers traded for Kobe Bryant. If you're Jerry West, how crazy is that? You get Shaquille O'Neal down to LA, then you draft Kobe Bryant with a trade. Jerry West knows what he's doing, all right? So then... Obviously, with those moves, the Lakers won, what, three straight NBA Finals from 2000 to 2002? Crazy. Oh, and did I mention that Jerry West was also the biggest part in why the Lakers ended up getting Phil Jackson, possibly the greatest coach in the NBA? Before Greg Popovich, of course. So, Phil Jackson, well, he was brought there by Jerry West. Oh, Kobe Bryant, brought there by Jerry West. Shaquille O'Neal brought there by Jerry West. I mean, this guy was crazy. So after the Lakers, he said, well, I've had enough. This team is too good. I want to explore something else. I've literally, this is what he said. I'll read a quote. After being a part of the Lakers' success for so many years, I have always wondered how it would be to build a winning franchise that has not experienced much success. I want to help make a difference. So with that quote, Jerry West went to Memphis. Now, obviously, his time at Memphis was not as spectacular as it was in LA, but that's literally impossible to do. He still turned around that franchise. He's he completely turned around the Memphis Grizzlies. He made them a reliable playoff team, practically by making no trades. Then he went and signed coach B. Brown, who became the coach of the year. So as you can imagine, Jerry West knows how to sign coaches as well as players. West himself won his second NBA Executive of the Year award in the same year, and then retired in 2007 as the GM of the Memphis Grizzlies. Then after that, in 2011, Jerry West joined the Golden State Warriors. And once again, just like he did with the Lakers, 
Jerry West does something crazy. He turns, well, he doesn't turn, he, it wasn't really him, but he helps turn the Warriors around. Jerry West did something crazy. He saw the Warriors win two of the last three NBA championships and reach the NBA Finals in the last three years. He was one of the main reasons they were able to draft as well as they did. And not only that, he was the guy, just like he did with Shaquille O'Neal, to bring him to LA, he was the guy that brought Kevin Durant from Oklahoma to Golden State. So Jerry West knows what he's doing. Now that is crazy. Obviously the Warriors have won two out of the last three championships. They've been to the finals three years in a row. So going back to the main part of this video, if you're the Los Angeles Clippers, you should be ecstatic. And this is the reason why I'm making the video. Nobody is talking about how Jerry West is a part of the Clippers. As I've stated in this video, the man knows how to get big name plays to join his team. And to think that he has a team running that's located in LA, Los Angeles, that's pretty crazy for Jerry West. Now, I do think it will take some time. I do think it will take a lot of time and he's gonna have to develop a lot of these plays through the draft and acquire them through the draft and he won't be able to sign too many big name players, right? I don't think he, I don't think he will go after LeBron James in 2018 or or DeMarcus Cousins or Russell Westbrook in 2018. That's not what I'm saying. What I think will, this is what I think Jerry West will do. He'll build from the draft just like he did in Golden State and eventually, let's say by 2023, by that stage, hopefully Jerry West has a decent enough roster to just do some work and then he can attract big name free agents because like I said, he is still located in Los Angeles and players do want to play in LA. And by 2025, who knows, LeBron James to LA in 2025, that could seriously happen. I mean, LeBron James, he's going to be old, right? Let's say not 2025, because 2025, LeBron James will be like 44 or something like that. Crazy, right? But let's say 2021. If the Clippers somehow have a decent team by 2021, LeBron James, he could move to LA. He loves LA, his family wants to live in LA, well his wife does. And the Clippers, they're not the Lakers obviously, but with a Jerry West run organization, LeBron James may be like, you know what, the Clippers have a decent roster, I'm a bandwagon on this team and end my career in LA and I mean, how crazy would that be? But obviously, that's a long shot, but LeBron to LA, make it happen. <laughs> And plus, like I said, if anyone could do it, it would be Jerry West, right? How are people not talking about this? Jerry West is now part of the Clippers. And yes, it may take some time. Jerry West may not be able to sign Chris Paul back. He may not be able to sign Blake Griffin back. He may look to trade DeAndre Jordan. But I think if you're a Clippers fan, you should have trust in what Jerry West does. Because Jerry West is seriously good at what he does. And... Maybe this might be the first time in Clippers history that they'll actually have a chance to win an NBA championship. It's the last thing he wants to do as an NBA person. So for Jerry West, he's got plenty of goals and I think he's going to turn around this Clippers franchise. So if you guys enjoyed this video and you learned something new today that you didn't maybe know, hit that subscribe button. If you guys want to leave a like, that would be awesome. Let's aim for 4,000 likes for the next video. And I hope you guys are enjoying the videos as of late. I've been working really hard to try and get some videos out for you guys. So if you're new around here, definitely hit that subscribe button and I'll catch you guys in my next video. Peace.